Hello and welcome to iRacing's next season. We are here in the SRX car again, but this time it counts. We are here at official racing now. Very excited for a new season and a new car. And we're here at Stafford to start it out here. We've got uh, our grape ready here <laughs> for qualifying in just a little bit. And we've got a pretty strong field as well. 4.8k strength of field. We are the four car. And uh, Gavin's in here as well, so good luck to him, and uh, hopefully we'll have ourselves a fun race. You know, uh, no, uh, this will be the first ever uh, official race in these cars, so we'll see how it looks. I'm hoping it'll be um, competitive but clean. Um, no, uh, no telling what we're gonna see, but uh, it's a fun car, and hopefully it'll lead to a fun race. I. Don't think I'm going to be very uh, competitive compared to the the top guys. Um, probably to most of the guys in here, to be honest. Uh, I was doing okay with uh, qualifying times and things, but short tracks are a bit of a struggle for me, and I tend to overdrive, um, which uh, is exactly what you don't want to do in this car, it turns out. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully get a good starting spot, because I think that's going to be very important. Green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time black. Oh, you're a good spin. Go ahead. Spin out on here. That's a good way to start your qualifying. So that didn't happen at all in practice. It was sticking much better, so I guess the track is a little bit looser. Is what I'm finding out. Oh, yeah, I'm completely blowing it. Hopefully we can pull together at least for this final lap for a somewhat decent time. Ugh, I don't like that at all. Chicken flag, chicken flag. That was much, much slidier than it was in practice, and I was not quite ready for that. I entered like I did a hundred thousand times in practice because I did practice a lot. I wanted to qualify well here, and uh, it did not stick. So maybe the track's a little bit hotter. That's what that's all about. No idea. Cool, oh, but yeah, that's uh. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do a couple more laps here just to try to get used to what the track's feeling like right now. I think I theoretically could have gotten a better lap than my best lap, but I just was not quite ready for how the track felt. So I wasn't able to approach it correctly. Like there, that was a good lap. That was a 19.851, that would have had me in 5th. Instead we're 9th right now. So we're going to be in the thick of it. Get it stopped and see what some of the other times are looking like. Hmm. Yeah, we're pretty far back there. Gavin's back here as well. Uh, at least I was able to do a little bit better a little bit better that next lap, but I still didn't hit it quite right. Sliding around. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to up my brake bias. Oh, right, you can't do it here for some reason. I'm going to up my brake bias cuz that was uh I was not having much trouble turning on, on entry. This time. Closed. Pit road is closed. So we'll do 46.2. The estimated SOF is 4,843. Thank you, Mark. And good luck to him as well. He's going to be starting right in front of us, it looks like. Session last lap. We're going to probably have to avoid some things here. I'm assuming there's going to be some things happening around us. Hopefully not too much. And hopefully it's not me making the mess. I would prefer to be on the inside as well, because it's going to be very difficult to avoid any messes from the outside lane if we got people on our inside and they're sliding through the corner right at me. I could definitely see people uh, getting loose and spinning 
on entry here because of how much looser it is than the practice. Tenth position. The track temp is 75. The air temp is 67 Fahrenheit. A lot of times it's been first gear when launching in this car. We'll see if that's the case here at Stafford as well. In the outside column. I always have to keep my dash up for this because there's no real indicator on here. Not that I can really see at a glance when it's time to shift. So I keep the dash so I can see it turn uh, like that yellow orange and then red on the RPMs. Shouldn't have any shifting otherwise. I heard some people asking, uh, you know, what gear we need to be in. Do we shift a third in the corners? And uh, it's tempting. It feels like you might be uh, slow enough, but I didn't find that it helped me at all. So I'll be staying in fourth gear once we get there. And starting in second yeah, gear, everyone, looks like. Hope we all don't die. Uh, I'd like to not die. There's a lot of races to do this season. Would hate to die before I could do all of them. <laughs> in the first race, that'd be depressing. But it might not be up to me. Gotta hopefully okay, have a go bunch of clean go racers go. around me. Okay, holding it together. Green, 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 green. Inside. Still there, inside. Clear. Okay. Inside. Uh oh, uh oh. Something's happening to there inside. Okay, we're good. So far, so good. The leader has just done a Ooh, we got hit, hit from behind, and we get spun. The guy behind has just done a 20.0. Thanks. The car inside, clear. Yeah, no, so we're the lucky one that gets spun first, it looks like. Guy just B40. runs into the back of me. Could still be more mess, be so hopefully we will at least be able to keep going. Front has just done a 19.9. The guy behind has just done a 20.0. See if we can get anything back. Fastest lap for Hayes, 19.7. Good lap. That's your best in the session. At least we can run the line we want with no one else around us. Really stinks to make it no more than about five laps before getting taken out in our first race. That lap was a 19.9. Would have hoped for a little bit more than that, but I'm not going to dwell on it now. Got some more racing to do here today, so keep at it and see what happens. The gap to Overdriving it. Is now Tight on exit, I got the gas a little bit too early. V14. No apology from the guy that spun me yet. Maybe he is only able to do text chat. And uh, we'll say something later. Or he doesn't care. Which, whatever. That was a 20.0. It's not going to change the outcome either way.
Is the race just going to be completely clean now? No one else is going to get wrecked? Is that how this is going to work? Haven't got any freebies ever since uh, being put back here. Still no one else seems to be getting spun around like I did. Obviously no cautions in the series if you haven't <laughs> figured that out. Uh, D class series, so just like ARCA or the late model stocks. So we're pretty much out of contention for this one, but with our starting spot I don't know if we really had much of a chance anyway. Probably for a better finish than we're going to get now, but not for the win or anything. The gap in front is now 0.6. I think the guy that wrecked us went on his merry way. Like nothing happened, he just got his spot. Catching up to the 14. See if we can do anything here. What if he has damage? Outside. The captain Parker. Queer high. Let's now. go. Five. Appreciate him for that. Saw Gavin had to dodge it. I don't know how much time he lost. Oh, we're getting sideways. Careful now. B13. Car does seem to be getting a little bit looser as I guess the tires heat up. So I'll have to uh, be a little easier on the pedals. Just about to halfway, kind of puts into perspective how early we were taken out of this race. Got someone not giving enough room, I guess, to the guy in front of him. Overdriving the entry. Not sure what happened. We'll take a look at it later. Pretty sure the guy just ran me over, though. Of course, I could be wrong. It could be uh, the guy behind him ran into him, and it was a uh, chain of events. So That's why I'm not going to name names or anything yet before seeing the replay. And then I'll say, hey you, okay, Colton, while you do this. Looks good, you've just done a but end of the day, who cares? Lots of uh, racing to do. Long season ahead. We'll have good races. Finally, we got some freebies coming up, maybe. That's not good, but at least it'll help salvage or finish a little bit. We're still one of the lucky few that seem to have been shipped by somebody. wonder if the leaders are going to catch and lap us or not. I did see them on the relative for a while, but they gained all that time, obviously, from re us wrecking. I don't know how much they're catching us was on speed. 
They're six seconds back right now. Thirteen to go, coming up at the line. The guy behind me getting closer. Feels like he's bigger in my mirror than I remember. Am I losing speed compared to him? The I don't know. I haven't been concerning myself with tire wear, by the way. I've just been trying to run fast laps. Don't know if that's a good idea or not. But it's what's happening. Uh, 20.5. The gap behind is now 0.8. Not a great angle on the corner there. Exit of the corner. I might have jinxed myself before the race because I was excited for this one. And I was uh, saying, you know, the, the bumpers don't to seem to spin by. people as much as they do in like the ARCA cars. So, I think I jinxed myself. Because uh, even though that's still true, they still will spin you if a guy just doesn't feel like not running into the back of you really hard. Now, 0 .9. Don't know if we'll have enough time to catch either Gavin or Mark here, but I'm trying. See what we can get out of this. That last lap was a 20.6. Running out of time, no, we got six laps left. You know, they're not just gonna give it to us with the that few to go. Five laps to go. Five to go. Good for, Look for opportunities. I mean, I see a couple of opportunities up there, but okay, I don't really have much time to do anything about it. And they're not making mistakes either, which would help us out. Your last lap time was at but they're good. They're good racers, so not too likely. Three to go. Good consistency. Keep them coming. You've got two laps to go. Leader shouldn't catch us before the end of this one, so we don't have to worry about that. Two laps remaining. Oh, it gets loose. Two 
White flag, last lap. That lap was a 20.8. Take it away. <laughs> I tried. Appreciate it, buddy. I got about as close as I could have, but Clay car ahead. Nah, car we'll get twelve. P twelve. That's the end of the race. Never mind. Alright, that kinda stinks. We didn't really get to do any racing with anybody. Because we got punted before we could, but Oh well, that'll happen. We'll see what happened now. What were the tires? Ninety ninety two. Interesting. It definitely felt much looser. Maybe the left rear being more worn contributed to that feeling. But it was the right front. So here on the start. Ooh, the 12 losing it right at the beginning. I wonder if the 9 got a penalty for that. That's a bummer of a penalty if he did. And the 13 just going to run into the back of them. And, uh... Yeah, nope, we're just going to get sent. Cool. Not a word from them, either. That's just how he passes, I guess. Freaking sent us hard, too. What a jerk. So he'll go on and get his 7th uh, place. Yeah, Mark unfortunately got taken out by that as well. I mean, he launched us. Mark is like a full two car lengths ahead, maybe one car length. And then he just launches us into it, and yet and Gavin got caught in it. Oh, uh, the, the 14 behind him. Not quite able to check up in time. Lots of people all getting caught up in it. That sucks. That explains why I was anywhere near being able to catch up to uh, Gavin and Mark. In lap 10, 15's getting loose. They're having themselves a battle for 7th, it looks like. I'm not sure why we're seeing a lot of these. Not really much... Oh, there's a wall hit on that one. Guy's driving in a little bit too hard. Is the 16 going to just take out more people on his way to the front? He doesn't lift for him there, that's for sure. You could see from a mile away he was getting loose. That just runs into the back of him. Lots of wall hits. Six just gonna take out the three, so we got another great overtaker over here. There's some of that side contact we saw in the Chicago land race. That might have happened anyway, but you can see there's a little there's a bit of space between them before that actually all happens. So I guess it's not even just on the mile and a half, although it's probably exacerbated by the uh, bigger tracks. And uh, the two gets the win. We will finish pretty much in the back. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they had the wreck at the start, and, uh, you know, we'll get uh, P12, I guess. Stinks, I felt like I was pretty fast, but never really had a chance to do anything with it, because we uh, got taken out, and then we were racing by ourselves. But that's how it goes sometimes. Just a bummer it happened on our very first SRX race. 
we will see uh, the damage now with the race results. See uh, how we are impacted by this poor finish. Here it is, 59 I rating lost. Down here in 12th. And uh, fastest lap will go to the 1. That makes sense. How did we compare? Did we, oh, wow, look at that. The 3 was pretty fast, too, but he got taken out. I remember he was the guy that got taken out with the 6. So 8-11, that compares pretty well. You know, uh, based on fast lap speed, we we're faster than the f guy that finished 5th. Uh, not faster than 7th the guy, the seventh place guy, though. The guy who uh, passes with his bumper. But uh, pretty pretty competitive fastest lap time. I think I can feel pretty good with that, especially because I conceivably could have had some damage after getting hit as hard as I did. No idea, but... All right, a bit of a disappointing start, but I'm sure we've got plenty of fun races ahead in this car, so long as uh, we don't get taken out every time. <laughs> but uh, that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.